February 2017 is when I uploaded my video, I do not like morgues. And has he improved in two years? Not really. Three contestants. Team Morgs. Team Morgs. Oh, Team ball. Three 24-hour overnight challenges. Overnight challenges. He got more money. And that's... Basically it. He still lives with his mom. I mean, this guy has got to be making hundreds of thousands of dollars, but he still lives with his mom, and she features in, like, every video. Like, she's part of his gang. His YouTube squad is made up of him, his mom, and his stepdad. I mean, it's kind of wholesome, but at the same time, it's kind of sad. You know he's looking up to, like, the clout gang and stuff. And he's like, oh, I want to be them. Like, he even has a necklace that he had made that says morgues. <laughs> You know you're legit when you have, like, a necklace with your YouTube username on it. That's when you know you've made it. So in my original video, I pointed out how he stole jokes from a smaller YouTuber, how he tries to manipulate his audience to click on his videos by basically lying with the thumbnails and titles. I don't think he steals jokes anymore because that relies on watching other people's actually good content and that probably makes him feel bad about himself. Because let's just be honest for a second. His channel is one big pile of dog shit. There isn't a single video on his channel that's worth watching. It's kind of sad. So you know how PewDiePie has evolved over the years? My name's PewDiePie. He's adapted his channel to fit his audience and to fit fit the overall internet culture. I would say PewDiePie is kind of like Cell from Dragon Ball Z. You know, he sees certain things like Filthy Frank and stuff like that, and he just, you know, absorbs a little bit of each thing and gets stronger as, as he goes. I mean, he does everything, basically. So if PewDiePie is Cell, I would say Morgz is that shitty, like, transsexual dude that bloats into, like, a fat frog. <laughs> to get stronger, but still gets his ass kicked by Vegeta. Zarbon, that's his name. Morgz is the Dragon Ball Z equivalent of Zarbon. Yeah, he makes more money, he gets a lot more views. Kinda like Zarbon, just, you know, he just kinda got uglier. So I could basically go to any one of his videos and find a multitude of things to make fun of. Oh, that is, that is definitely not a doghouse. That's a chest. <gasps> yeah! So you know how Mr. Beast has this thing that he's been doing for a long time where he spends a lot of money and makes a video out of it. Sometimes Mr. Beast's videos are kind of silly and stupid, but his more recent videos are like projects. Morgz, on the other hand, just takes Mr. Beast's formula, doesn't put any effort into his videos, lies about spending money, basically just to get clicks and to ride off of Mr. Beast's wave. If Mr. Beast was a blue whale, Morgz would be a little sea urchin. Just sitting on top. Sometimes he just straight up copies Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast made an Orbeez video. Morgs made an Orbeez video. Mr. Beast did a thing with zombies. So Morgs did a thing with zombies. And the most ironic part comes from Morgs' merch. He has new merch out that says challenge yourself. He wants all of his viewers to challenge themselves. You know, really push the boundaries. Really try and be innovative, right? Just like Morgs, who basically stole his entire career from other people. So that's, uh... Interesting. <laughs> then he has this awful Team Morgs hoodie. It looks like a NASCAR jacket, and it just says Morgs over and over. If you want to get bullied, don't buy the Virgin sweater by Mimulus. Buy this. Then you are guaranteed to get bullied by someone. All right, so let's watch his video, Last to Breathe Wins $10,000 Challenge. Three challenges. I'm the first challenger. Number two. Number three. Three DIY breathing devices. Here she goes! I really like the epic music and how he really tries to get you going and get you interested in the video right away. It's like, oh, this is gonna be such an epic video. Three challengers. Who's gonna survive? Who knows? How can we convince our nine-year-old audience that this video is gonna be worth watching. Hmm. And the last one to breathe wins $10,000. How long did he go? I don't think she's gonna last much longer, Morgan. I think she's panicking. Let's meet the challengers. My name is Morg's mom. Let's meet the challengers. My name is Morg's mom. <laughs> I like how she actually has a YouTube channel. It's just called Morgz's Mom. Her channel is probably better than Morgz's. I mean, let's be real. Out of my way! I'm gonna go and do some clothes shopping online. If you've seen any of the other challenges, you'll know that I'm a creative genius. I often get compared to Einstein. It's kind of painful that this is probably scripted. You know? And it's so bad. You wouldn't even find these jokes in a cartoon that's made for like... 12-year-olds. He really loves using that Inception sound effect, that 
you put a rock in water, it sinks and it stays there forever. Just like I'll be doing in today's challenge. Two is dumb and dumber. And I need all your help to get there. No joke, he uses it like 30 times in this video. Just over and over, just spams it. He really likes using the sphere effect in Premiere. I think they're Gucci. It's really funny, I like it. It's not being abused at all. He hasn't used it like 12 times already. It's b &Q, the DIY shop. Let's go. Right, guys. The sound effects get so repetitive and so annoying so fast. So he asks his audience to comment down below who they think will win the challenge. Make sure you comment down below who you think is going to win the challenge. When they can just, you know, fast forward and find out. I mean, when you're speaking to six-year-olds, maybe they will actually do it, so. We are on the road to 10 million subscribers and I need all your help to get there. Why is he so loud? And I need all your help to get there. Chill out, bro. Who's dumb and who's dumber? You're dumber. You're dumber. You're dumber. You're dumber. You're dumber. Oh my god, it's unbearable. This is proof that, like, they just don't care about what they put on the channel. It's brainless content. You see funnier bits in an Adam Sandler movie than this. I only have one hour to prepare the devices. To prepare the devices. You can tell that he's really trying to enunciate clearly and really pronounce those words. Just in case, like, the nine-year-olds that are watching him are like, What does that mean? I didn't quite hear it. Can you scream a little louder? I've been thinking for about five minutes now, and I think I came up with an idea. I think I came up with an idea. So the objective of this challenge is for him, his mom, and his dad to create their own devices and has to be able to keep a steady flow of air for them underwater and the person to stay under the water the longest wins. So it's kind of strange that he named the video Last to Breathe, wins ten thousand dollars oh pounds by the way he holds up pounds in this video so they aren't actually winning dollars he's just doing that because mr beast does that but mr beast is american and you're not american so the title itself just shows that he doesn't care at all about his videos he just wants to make money the content is super lazy too there's a million different ways that you could get air from underneath the water and be creative with it but instead his dad just gets a tube and puts a Pepsi bottle at the end <laughs> as if it's going to capture the air better that way. <laughs> and his mom is even more ridiculous. So she gets this inflatable like bouncy toy thing and cuts the ends of it off and then takes a snorkel and sticks it into the hole. <laughs> like you could have just used the fucking snorkel. <laughs> And when she tries to use it, it just like flops over. I know that they're acting, right? They're playing a part. She's not actually this stupid. They're just trying to entertain kids, but it's just so dumb. <laughs> kind of creepy when she, she bounces that balloon and holds the udders like that. Guys, <laughs> it's time to cut it in three, two, one. Oh, sorry. What's that supposed to mean? Was that just a circumcision joke in a video made for nine-year-olds? So his stepdad just goes into the pool fully clothed because he has to be wearing that Morgs merch. <laughs> I kind of like the stepdad, you know? He's super chill. He's just going along with it. You can tell he's not super invested into what Morgs is doing. He's just kind of playing along. I'm not that daft after all. And guess what Morgs does? Basically exactly what Mr. Beast did in his video underwater. <laughs> Except less impressive because he has a bucket with weights holding it down, except the bucket is above the water. So it doesn't even really count because he's supposed to be submerged, but you know, who cares? This challenge is super stupid anyway. But it just goes to show that Morgz has zero creativity. All he thinks is, oh, what's Mr. Beast doing? All right, I'm going to do the same thing, but worse. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it is time to try and record our own Morgs video. Let's do it. Two challengers, one winner. The first person to poop wins 10,000 pesos. First challenger. Second challenger. Believe me, you do not want to miss this. Watch until the end to see a special surprise. As you can see, I'm on the toilet trying to poo, but it won't come out. <coughs> ah, I'm trying, the poop won't come out. <coughs> 
I really hope this poop comes out or else I'm going to owe my dog 10,000 pesos. No, are you telling me that the dog pooped before I could? Well, it appears that I lost this challenge. Thank you so much for watching my 10 minute piece of garbage. Make sure to leave a like and purchase at least 15 items of my very conceited merchandise. This video was sponsored by myself. If you like interesting clothing, you can go to AlienClothing.com. Maybe you'll find something that you like over there. <laughs> Wait, Kara. Yeah? One more thing. Mm. Take the L! No! Take the L! No, I don't Take want it!